talk about Instagram. Here's an Instagram of actor Liam Schreiber on opening night of his new play on Broadway. He's also known for playing a Los Angeles tough guy, a fixer on the hit series I Love This Show, Ray Donovan. It's on Showtime, which, by the way, is a division of CBS. The Tony Award winner is now back on Broadway in the revival of, what is it, Mr. Schreiber? Les Liaisons Dangereuses. That's it. He stars as a playboy in 18th century France, challenged with corrupting a young woman, wow, before her wedding. Now, this key resembles the key to your bedroom door, which I happen to know is kept in your mother's room on the mantelpiece tied with a blue ribbon. Take it, attach the blue ribbon to it, and put it in the place of your bedroom key, which you'll then bring to me. I'll be able to get a copy cut within two hours. I'll return you the original. You can put it back in your mother's room. Then I'll be able to collect your letters and deliver Donsonies without any further complications. Oh, dear. Schreiber appears opposite Tony Award-winning actress Janet McTeer in the story of sex, power, oh, and big-time betrayal. He joins us at the table. Welcome back to you. Yes. you so I went yesterday in the pouring rain just to see you. And this is what fascinated me about the play. It's the dialogue. Let me just give you a couple lines. You've given me great pleasure. But I just can't bring myself to regret leaving you. Say it, say it with a little more acting. Oh, sorry. I want her to believe in God and virtue. And still not be able to stop herself. <laughs> you only flirt with those. Uh, you intend to refuse. I know. I, I love the language of the play. <laughs> you are such a cat in this play, though, Liev. Thank you, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, so is it something? It's clearly not hard for you to play because you play him so well. It's about sex and it's revenge and passion. It's very hard for me to play. Is it? Very hard. It, it, I didn't think it would be, but it's really, really hard. Why? Well, I think it's, it's, it's a complicated play. It's yes. a beast of a play. A lot um, of dialogue. And a lot of dialogue, particularly for Valmont. But I think the sexual indiscretion part of it and the scandal of it is, is really complicated. I think it starts out very funny, mm -hmm. and it goes to some relatively dark places. Yeah. Did I read you, you? You didn't think you were really right for this part? Mm. No, I still don't. You don't? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really enjoying... I mean, I, look, that's part of, I think, my job as an actor is to yeah. try to do things that mm -hmm. push me in different directions. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think, you know, one of the things about doing something like Ray, which I love doing, is that it's a very specific thing. And you, uh, on a television show, you end up doing that for a long time. So then you're sort of looking for ways to expand yeah. your work and, mm -hmm. and your range. And, and for me, this felt like it might be that kind of opportunity. Yeah, I mean, Ray Donovan, you've gotten such a following. So many people love, love, love mm -hmm. that show. And it's now fifth season, right? Going into yes. fifth yes, season. Yes, we're going into our fifth season. So why did you need more on your plate? Yeah. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's um, eight times, uh, that's a really good point, Art, yeah. because it's, number one, you have a lot of dialogue. It seems grueling. Mm. I went, it doesn't seem like you can ever zone out while you're up there thinking, what am I going to do for dinner? I'll tell you what I did. I, I wanted to be close to the kids, and I wanted to pick a job that would put me in New York and keep me in New York. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, this was a job that was in the city, and it kept me around the kids. The you have problem two sons, is, two sons, I ages. Have two sons, seven and nine, mm -hmm. Sasha and Kai. Mm -hmm. The problem is, is that you have <laughs> no time to be with them on a theater schedule. But the last you did, time, I... yesterday, you, Wednesday, a matinee, you had, you did, you did five hours of theater, two shows. Yeah. Just this past Thanksgiving, we had Thanksgiving Day off, and then we did five shows in two days. Wow. And, uh, if, if and that's got to be exhausting. It's a little... <laughs> <laughs> it's exhausting. You know, I, I think the play is, is it's getting rave reviews. It's from the movie. There was a movie. I remember the movie years ago. I remember the other play that was on Broadway. But now the time is so different. There's a scene that really made me squirm, and I'm mm -hmm. wondering how you feel about this. He's seducing a young girl. Yeah. And half the audience, we don't know whether to laugh, whether to... Because it's very graphic, number one. Yeah. And I almost felt like I was watching child molestation, mm. but people were laughing. Does it make you uncomfortable? Am I reading it wrong? Am I no, overthinking it? No, I think it's it? supposed to make you uncomfortable. I think that's Leclos intention. Is it? Um, Leclos, who wrote this yeah. play during the Ancien Regime in, in, uh, uh, in, in France, wrote this play as a cautionary tale to young girls. Mm. Um, and, you know, it's sort of since been interpreted, particularly by the movie, it's a sort of wonderful sex scandal. Yeah. But the reality is that the guy was writing it to say, watch out. Right. And, and uh, so I think the intention is that people become very uncomfortable in that scene. Now, of course, casting an actor who looks as old as me and 
an actress who looks as young as Elena. Yeah, because she looks 14. Yes. Yeah, she looks, yeah. She looks May 14. May a little bit yeah. a little extreme, but I think that was the intention. Okay. And it's certainly what women went through in that period, and I think that's Josie's intention. Mm -hmm. the, the picture on the playbill, which yeah. we have up here, I mean, <laughs> wow. No, that, that one I like. I mean, I, mean, that's I understand it. you two had just met when you took that picture. Yeah, but she... You got acquainted age. very quickly. Yeah, I mean, that's steamy. <laughs> yeah. You got acquainted. You can, got acquainted. Can I ask quickly. you about the film you're working on that you're co-producing called *The Bleeder*? Yeah. Which is about Chuck Wepner, right? The boxer who yes. fought Muhammad Ali. Yes. And you, are you are you going through intensive training for this? What are you? Well, no, it's done. We finished it. Mm. Uh, we had it at the Venice Film Festival. It did really well. We had it at Toronto. It did well there too, and it should be coming out in the spring. Um, it's the story of the real Rocky. Um, yeah. The guy that's that, right. Uh, the model for Rocky. Yeah. And he's a wonderful character, and it was a lot of fun to do. And Naomi and I got to work together on it, and uh, I co-wrote it and co-produced it, and uh, I'm really proud of it. Philippe Filardeau, a wonderful mm -hmm. French-Canadian director, director. Are you and Naomi in a good place? I have to say I was very disappointed when I heard the two of you had separated. Yeah. But she wrote in People magazine that change is very scary, but you two seem to have navigated raising your children together. Is change scary for you? Yeah, of course it is. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we're parents together. Yeah. So we'll be together for the rest of our lives, no mm -hmm. matter what. And um, we're very close. Yeah, I, I'm uh, glad to hear uh, that. Hopefully that, that never changes, and I don't think it will. Would you like me to set you up with someone, or are you okay? <laughs> yes. No, okay, okay, good. Right. I'm good. busy with the 15-year-old. Yes, yes. <laughs> I got it. Schreiber Just know I'm here to help. I'm here to help. It's always good to see you. Congrats. Yes. Yes. Thanks for having me. Liam Schreiber, thanks for being here. <laughs> Thank you. You can see Les Li Liaison Dangereuse on Broadway at the Booth Theater now until January. Are you okay with that? I How did he do? How did he do? Not as good as Dangereuse. Dangereuse. Dangereuse.